In this tutorial series, we will be learning how to make a game from scratch. Uh, this will be a really in-depth tutorial series and this might be your first game inside of Unity. This is the part 1 of the tutorial series in which we will learn how to make the basic movement. In the end of the video, we will be able to make this. So as you can see, I have a brand new Unity project and a brand new scene. I'm using HDRP which is High Definition Render Pipeline and uh, as you can see, is, this is a a sample scene in which we have a main camera, a directional light and some post processing and volume settings. So without the post processing and volume settings this is how our game looks like and with them this is how it looks like. So simple post processing nothing much. I'm gonna go ahead and say reset and there we go. Alright and in here in the project window as you can see we have Playmaker. If you don't know what Playmaker is then Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. Now, if you haven't heard about it or if you haven't used it then believe me it will change your life. Basically, it is like Bolt, but is 100 times better. So yeah, if you want to get Playmaker, you can go ahead and buy it from Asset Store. Yeah, it's not free. But if you want to get it for free, I will provide it to you guys. The link will be in the description box below. I personally will provide it to you guys so that you can download it for free, drag it inside of Unity, import, install, and you will be good to go. If you have any problems regarding Playmaker, let me know in the comments. I will try to help you out. Then we have some settings that comes with the HDRP. So this is all the HDRP and post processing. So don't worry about that and then we have a male base 3d model and I will tell you guys where I found it and this is the tutorial scene that we have over here so uh, this base mesh 3d model I downloaded from sketchfab which is this one alright so I went in sketchfab and I searched for male base and uh, I said downloadable so that we can download this and this is what I found alright simple low poly character and you can just come down here and say download 3d model and if you go to more information as you can see this is not rigged no so we have to rig this also so you can go ahead and say download and i downloaded the fbx dragged it inside of unity and here we have it now as you can see mine is rigged so as you can see it's it has the rig but in your case it will not have the rig so in order to rig the character which means in order to apply the animations and all that you have to go to mixmo.com login and i just went in and said upload character and drag your character in here and you have to just place the joints and it's really really easy really simple straightforward and it will automatically rig your character and now my character is fully rigged all right so here as you can see on the left hand side we have some animations playing we can go ahead and search for run because running animation is the one that we need and i can go ahead and download any one like this one and as, now as you can see our character is running okay cool now what I want to do is I don't want him to move forward uh, in the actual animation. I want him to move in single place. So how I do that is say in place and now it will run in the same place. That is what I want because we are going to control the movement of the player using scripts or coding or playmaker. We don't want him to move with the animation. So in order to do that just simply say in place and say download. So download, uh, download for unity and say download and once it is downloaded just drag it inside of unity. Uh, let me just go ahead and download this. So, once it is fully downloaded, just drag it inside of Unity. And there we go. So, here we have the base mesh. And in the animations, if I play the animation, he will run in the same place. Now, make sure you say loop time so that he loops every time. So that the animation does not stop. So it's going to loop, loop, loop. And say apply. Bam. So, this is the ma male base. And this is the animation okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say right click create a 3d game a 3d game object and a plane i'm gonna reset the transform so that's 000, zero, zero right in the center of the screen right in the center of the uh the world and i'm gonna go ahead and make it a little wider and make it a little longer because this will be a kind of a path on which our player will run so it does not matter how big it is how long it is just make sure it is long enough all right so as you can see uh, now we have a platform for our player now we need to import our player in here so just simply go ahead and drag and drop your character in here just like that all right and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say right zero 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 so that it's right in the screen center, uh, center of the scene and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the platform somewhere over here so that it starts where our character is in the center of the scene so it will help you out then I'm gonna go ahead and select my character and rename it to player and as you can see now it is blue because this is a prefab so I know I don't want it to be prefab so I'm gonna say right click create unpack prefab and now it's no longer a prefab now I want the player to be facing that direction so I'm gonna just go ahead and say rotate just like that so there we go 
uh, now we need to go ahead and add in some implements of animation so if I select the player as you can see we have some animator controller over here uh, and it's it says some animator controller and there is none so I have to make an animator controller in there right so how do we do that is we say right click create an animator controller I'm gonna call this one player and just double click that to open it up in the animator uh, window and just go ahead and drag in your animation in my case it's the running so as you can see we have the running animation and if I double click this this is the one all right cool now if I go ahead and select the scene select the player and drag and drop my player uh, animator controller in there and now we have as you can see clip count one which means there's one animation if I go ahead and say play the game he should do that animation So as you can see, he's doing that animation running in the place. And if I go to the animator, he is doing that animation, which is seeing over here. So that is cool. Now we need to go ahead and move this guy forward with some code. Now here comes the coding and all that. So let's, let's get started. It's basically really, really simple. Uh, before we do anything, I want to add in some collider and a rigid body. A rigid body basically helps in adding a physics because if I go ahead and move the character up right now, it's not going to fall down because it does not has any rigid body so there you can see he's running over there but i want him to fall down so i'm gonna add a rigid body and as you can see it falls but it clips through and falls through the object because it does not has any collider so we need to add in a rigid body as well as in a capsule collider i'm gonna go ahead and open these two up and i'm gonna go ahead and bring this player down just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and set the capsule collider up so I'm gonna go ahead and move it in the Y increase the size I cannot see the capsule collider, so I'm gonna go and do that increase the radius a little bit increase the height and there we go so does not matter if it is a um, little big little small does not matter make sure it is right where the feet are so that is what you want and there we go now if I move the character up and play the game it should fall and start to run on the on the platform not fall through so as you can see he falls and bam now we have some physics going on cool uh, next thing what we want to do is we want to add some force so that this guy moves forward so in order to do that i'm going to go ahead and say right click uh, add in a component and say fsm now if you if you don't see the playmaker fsm it means you haven't imported playmaker properly or if you haven't import, imported playmaker at all so make sure you do that click the link in the description box below download playmaker for free and just install it and you will be good to go i'm gonna call this one uh i don't want to call this one we can do that later on so go ahead and say edit and now this is the playmaker window in here i'm gonna go ahead and say translate translate basically means moving moving uh, in some direction so as you can see we have some uh, x y and z and a vector and all that things over here so we want this guy to move forward in the in the x all right all right okay i'm gonna go ahead and say zero 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 so that's right in the center of the scene in order to do that i'm gonna go ahead and say in the x i'm gonna say new variable speed this is this will be the variable that describes the speed and if I go to the variables and select the speed it is a basically float which means a point value and right now the value is zero so I'm gonna go ahead and say inspector which basically means you can see the variable in the inspector which is over here now if I go ahead and come back to the state and make sure it is per second and every frame which basically means every second so it's gonna move every second now if I go ahead and play the game he will not move because the value of the speed is zero right now if we increase the speed or decrease the speed it will move accordingly so right now it's not moving at all if I go ahead and set the speed to 10 he moves back okay okay so it is not in the X it is in the Z my mistake I must say none in the Z say speed and there we go now if I go ahead and play the game he should move forward I don't know why I did that uh, I have no idea I have no clue okay so as you can see this is the blue thing and blue thing corresponds to Z uh, yeah I don't know if I go ahead and increase the speed to 2 as you can see he moves forward if I increase the speed to 10 he moves forward and that is pretty amazing right amazing so oh oh shit <laughs> oh shit okay so that happened but the speed was proper so 10 is good speed 10 is good so I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to 10 
and as you can see he rotated and just fall off and we don't want that right so how do we fix that well go to the rigid body and in the constraints we have to freeze the rotation because we don't want him to rotate all right so now if you go ahead and play the game he will move forward with a constant speed of 10 and he will not rotate he will not fall, fall you know do that shit so as you can see he's moving forward on the straight line and he is not falling over tilting over or nothing so this is pretty much it so this is the movement of the character moving forward now we want him to move left and right according to the buttons that we press so in order to make him left and right i'm gonna go back in here and i'm gonna go ahead and say close that or close that for now and say get axis vector get axis vector basically means to get the direction of the buttons that you're pressing and by default it is set to horizontal and vertical if i go to the edit project settings input if you don't know what horizontal and vertical is then if you go to the input there is as you can see we have two uh, buttons over here horizontal and vertical and they are left right a d and this is down up s w all right so w a s d basically are horizontal and vertical now we want him to move left and right so this is what we want we want horizontal not vertical all right so i'm gonna go ahead and say delete vertical and uh yeah so we are basically getting the input left and right if we press left and right we are gonna store the vector which is direction in a new variable called vec and then i'm gonna go ahead and say translate again and this time i want to go ahead and say set the vector equal to the that that we just stored over here which basically is left and right so uh and yeah that is it so this basically will help us to move the character left and right when we press uh, a and D and when we press A and D it's gonna store the uh, vector in here and yeah everything will properly work it. now if I go ahead and play the game he will move left and right but uh, the the movement will be really really subtle one thing I want to do is I, I don't want him to move forward right now so that we can only focus on the left and right uh, but yeah he is doing that still so I'm gonna go ahead and come out of the game view do that and play the game again so now he's not gonna move forward because we only want to focus on the left and right so where is it there it is so if I go ahead and say left he is moving left and if I say D he's gonna move right but as you can see the speed is really slow so how do we increase or decrease the speed well you can multiply it so if I go ahead and set this to 5 it moves left and right a lot quicker which is really awesome uh, but if I want to increase it to 10, it will be much, much better, I guess. It's a little too fast, but yeah, you can play with the value and you will be good to go. I think the 10 is good. So I'm going to go ahead and say close that and set this to 10. And you can later on change the value if you want. Now, uh, the character is moving forward as well as left and right. So that is pretty awesome. Next thing we want to set up is the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, select the player right click create an empty game object right inside of the player and I'm gonna bring the empty game object up to the spine well level and I'm gonna call this one follow this is the uh, game object that the camera will follow I'm gonna duplicate this one drag it out of the player all right and I'm gonna call this one base because this one will be the camera base now if I go ahead and drag in the camera inside of the camera base and reset the transform so there is the camera I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back bring it up rotate it down uh, something like that something like that looks good so as you can see the camera is right in the center in the center of the player and I think I should rotate it up a little bit and move it forward a little bit so that looks good to me so this is the camera setup and now if I go ahead and now we want to make him follow the player this game object so if I go ahead and select the base add component FSM edit say move towards move towards and we want the base to move towards the follow make sure the finish distance is zero because we don't want him to finish and I'm gonna increase the speed to 20 okay now if I go ahead and play the game right now you will see that the camera will follow the player and we should be able to move forward as you can see it's moving forward I can move left and right and yeah this is the basics of the game pretty amazing 
Awesome. I love it. Love it. And of course we can fall down. Yeah. Okay. So that is properly working, but one thing that I don't like is that I don't want the I don't want the camera to move left and right. So in order to fix that, I'm going to go ahead and select the base, say edit, and simply go ahead and say set position. And we want to set the position of the base, so th we don't want the base to move left and right, all right? So which basically is x, I guess. So we're going to say set the x to 0 every frame. Simple as that. So it's going to keep the x on 0 every frame. So if I play the game now, hopefully hopefully it will not move in the x which is left and right when the player moves left and right because we want the camera to be constant okay it's not moving in the z okay uh i messed up a little bit because i i don't know what the fuck is happening today but uh not the x this time it is z so set the z to zero sorry for the inconvenience so now you can see the, it is moving forward it's not moving left and right which is pretty awesome I think I should increase the speed to 30 and that will be it. So if I go ahead and play the game right now, you will see that the character will move forward, the camera will not move left and right and we will be able to move the character left and right. So as you can see it is pretty awesome. So we can move the character left and right if we want and amazing the camera is not moving left and right. Now of course we can go ahead and add in some obstacles over here. But here I just added in three cubes and if we hit the cube we will uh, not be able to pass through them. So as you can see I'm running and I hit the cube and when we hit the cube the game will be over and it will stop and there will be a message down here uh, something like that. But this is basically the main logic. If you don't want to miss any future videos because in the future videos we are going to go ahead and add some enemies, add in some obstacles, moving obstacles and some mm, new levels and level manager and a whole lot of things if you don't want to miss them make sure you subscribe hit the bell icon because hitting the bell icon will help you notify uh what we that we are uploading any tutorial video i have a not notification and say man you are awesome uh, thanks man you are awesome too hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in the next video peace out